On Thursday marked the 36th anniversary of the Philadelphia police bombing of the home of the radical black liberation anti-police brutality group MOVE that killed six adults and five children and burned down two city blocks. In a major development, Philadelphia Mayor Jim Kenney announced the resignation of Philadelphia's top health official over new revelations he cremated some of the bombing victims' remains, including bone fragments, without the knowledge or permission of the families. This is the mayor. Health Commissioner Th Dr. Thomas Farley disclosed that several years ago he learned of remains found by the medical examiner's office that belonged to victims of the 1985 MOVE bombing. Instead of fully identifying those remains and returning them to the family, he made a decision to cremate and dispose of them. This action lacked empathy for the victims, their family, and the deep pain that the MOVE bombing has brought to our city for nearly four decades. Philadelphia Mayor Kenny said he demanded the health commissioner's resignation, but put the city's medical examiner, Dr. Sam Galino, on administrative leave because he has civil service protection, unlike Dr. Farley, and because he's needed for the investigation. The mayor met with MOVE family members on Wednesday and agreed to announce the news on the bombing anniversary. He said the amount of remains destroyed without notifying them is not yet known. An investigation will include people approved by the MOVE family. This comes amidst an ongoing investigation into how the University of Pennsylvania and Princeton University were in possession of bones thought to belong to one or two moved children killed in the bombing and used them in an online teaching course without the family's knowledge or permission. Meanwhile, on Thursday, MOVE family members and hundreds of supporters held a memorial and marched by the scene of the May 13, 1985, police bombing of their home in Philadelphia, chanting the names of those killed and the lone adult and child survivors. You can see all our interviews about the 1985 MOVE bombing and its aftermath at democracynow.org.